Step IMO pod with three young kings Sukali, DT and Uzi Pondis In my opinion we're the pod of the year We mix the banter with the edutainment Sukali you know be the girl them sugar Don't talk DT, designate driver To me to Susa, Uzi takes it too far You never know how far you can go if you don't try We are them boys, we're not cohesive money, money, money. Yeah, Luckily I found man. someone, he was up in Gans Hill oh, yeah. um, He was charging me 40 pounds Hey, yeah, now you, you and wouldn't pay that <laughs> But I was like, nah, you know what? I'll for the service, my scared head straight. Cut, I'm not going through that again. <laughs> I was happy to pay that. Scared, that. scared ever straight. Ever since then, it's like, it's my like. haircut is, I only go to one bar, but I don't do all these, let me try him, let me try him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only got one hairline. You only got one hairline. It was mad. I was upset, man. But speaking of dead haircuts, can you give me your first dead haircut? What did you do when you like, ah, do you know what? I think I've messed up my man's head. Yeah. Ah, like, you know while what? You was, while you had your shot, I'll be or... honest. I'll be honest. It, it wasn't really a haircut. It was like a, um, an injury. So I must have. <laughs> I, I must have been. <laughs> yeah, no, he'll be, he'll be. I must have been. Um, I was fifteen now. Yeah. Yeah. I've lied about my age to work in a shop. Yeah. yeah on yeah. the high road now. So imagine I'm in there. They're like, "Have you got a national insurance?" Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I got that. I'll bring it in. I'll bring it in." Anyway, I'm coming. Up, my tools. I had a few of my clients from yeah, school yeah. that that will, that will pull up to the shop. Yeah. And then how it is when you're young and you got like bare like. Older people coming to you. Imagine yeah. I'm in the shop. I'm 15, and you got like 30 man out of 30 people that are late 30s <laughs> oh my coming into your chair, and your your heart's beating. Was you into me? That's what your heart's saying, beating. Yeah. yeah, obviously my heart because I'm thinking I, I ain't trimming these like yeah. men like this. Yeah, and um, it's like how the shop is. You've got like an audience because mm. back then like, a lot of the barbers they weren't doing appointments like that. So yeah, yeah. Everyone, people everyone, just everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. So I feel yeah. like I just I just, I always had this audience. And I was cutting um, a guy's hair and he had like a, a, a spot there, yeah? Oh. But it was like a, a big one. Mm. And I was doing a cutthroat, right? So oh, I was chilling, so I was talking to him. He's like, oh, how are you? How old are you? I was like, yeah, I'm 18, I'm 18. I was like, oh, okay, all right, cool. And I just went shum oh. over, the, over the spot. Ooh. And it, it just wouldn't stop. Uh, <laughs> it's coming out like that. It wouldn't stop. <laughs> so it wouldn't stop. So yeah, no, no. We just like got tissue, got put a stone on there, and the guy kept on saying, "No, no, sorry." You know, he was a nice guy as well because after the haircut, it was a good haircut, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> he still paid me, even gave oh. me um extra, and he said, um, "Carry on, man. Oh. Just, just carry on." That's yeah. hard. Yeah. 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 Like, that's hard. Yeah, that's a yeah, good yeah, guy, yeah, boy, yeah. bro. Yeah. Couldn't be me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm not paying you know for that haircut, bro. Sliders, I, I wouldn't want to cut someone like you. you know? Oh, whatever. Like I don't think you Slider even cuts your hair, yeah, bro. I wouldn't want to cut, cut my hair. Did you cut him? So. Every now and then. Every yeah. now and then. Because you know what? Yeah, I, I, I've got these qualms, yeah? Because what you lot do to my boy, I don't like it sometimes, yeah? Because sometimes it's like they use a knife to do your thing, innit? Like the shape up is so sharp that sometimes it, it, it cuts into his skin. Yeah, Sometimes that's, that's his other barber. That's his yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew it wasn't you. Wow. you see, I knew it wasn't you. That, that, that's, that's the plan B. That's the plan B. I knew it wasn't you. you. Yeah, he's got exactly. I knew it wasn't you. I was looking away. Oh, you shy, you quick. You see me? You're a bad individual. You know. I can't what do you mean? Like, this guy puts in a hot seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that one slider though. I I tell my customers actually that they should have more than one barber. I know barbers will hate me for this, but I just don't think any. Client should just have one barber. Because yeah. mm. what happens then? What if your barber goes on holiday for a few yeah, weeks? Yeah, what, you you, stuck, you, know, you don't get haircuts. Mm. Mm. You know, mm. so I think you should I have. So you don't mind your clients cheating on you lot then? I don't mind. Nah, as long as they're cutting in his shop with another barber that's in his shop. Ideally, I'm wanting yeah. you to cut with someone else in the shop. Is in the shop. But yeah. you know, but it's your choice. It's your money. But do you do feel like sometimes it's a thing where like that's with every business? I reckon like you know when you got a lot of clientels, you're happy for black. Yeah, like, definitely. That, yeah. That's, but that's if, what it is. But <laughs> so if, if you don't have a lot of clients, he's still pulling his face down. He's still pulling his face down. But people like that girl that gave the hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when you go back to them, like, ah, oh, you went somewhere else last week and you're doing personal. Dog, like, you know, you know what I mean? That's another thing I was going to ask you guys, yeah. actually. Can you guys tell? Yeah. Oh, when someone if you're a regular client, client it's always. gone somewhere else. You, you know, can tell. I, sometimes I compliment the barber as well. You know, is sometimes it? my client will come and they'll be like, "Oh, Nathan, when I had to go, da, da, da. I looked at it and be like, yeah, they done all right.' I'm talking about without them telling you. Yeah, yeah, without yeah, them yeah. telling you, you can tell. Oh, you know the last thing. Hundred percent. Because you know how you cut hair. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So you have your signature and that, so you know when no, someone else is touched. But if that's a client, right? He might let's say he gives the client let's say a fade that starts lower. Right. But the client, the client just asks for skin fade, but he that's how he does it. That's how he does it. And let's say the client comes to me, right? And I generally give higher fades, right? Uh, when he comes in and goes, oh, can I get a skin fade? He doesn't, the client's not going to come and say, oh, can I get a skin fade like from this? Here, yeah, or yeah, might yeah, not even yeah. bring a picture. So 
I'm just going to cut it how I do my skin fades, right? Yeah. And even the shape up might be a different angle that I use uh, to him. So when he goes back to him, he's like, okay, I can see. Someone else is out. Someone else is Wow. And I'll tell yeah. you like, another thing as well. When we, well, let me, let me say we, me, the person, when I'm going to another barber that's not my regular barber, I get this feeling like I'm actually genuinely cheating on my barber, you know? It's just me. You know, it's yeah. You, bro. No, you know, oh, it's just me. I can't, I'm, maybe it's just me then. Well, I, 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 I kind of had that feeling before, bro. Because if, if you're going to the same person every two weeks, that person's like an extended family member. Yeah, type of thing, do you know what I mean? Because you, know I mean? you barbers, yeah, listen, I've had some of the life saving advice from my barbers. Mm. Like, you have some of the realest conversations in the barbershop. So maybe that's why that, like you're saying, that personal you touch is there. Yeah, yeah, you have to so it's have almost like when, they, when you're, not, when you're yeah. going somewhere, somewhere else, you, you have that guilty feeling like, yo, am I, am I, is what nah, I'm doing I'm right? You're a grown man, bro. I think when we're younger, <laughs> maybe. But you don't go nowhere. Because <laughs> 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 you've got three, bro. you got like, how many barbers? You don't go nowhere. You don't go nowhere. You're always going to slide. You don't go nowhere. I have another barber. Do you? Yeah. It's just news. Who? Listen, we're slide. Two other barbers. I've got two other barbers. We're sliding, yeah. Yeah. And he'd be see. putting the names on, he'd be putting them on you, you know. He said, oh, it's fine, it's fine. One of the best wow. he's got a big clientele. Wow. So it's very difficult. If you don't, if you if you can't make your reoccurring yeah, 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 appointment, yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. get one outside of that, it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a membership, isn't it? Especially with the mm. stuff we're doing now. If I need mm. to go to an event yeah. and I need a haircut, it might not so, it's possible. Mm. But I feel like as a grown man, I'm not going to be there worrying that like, oh, I'm cheating on Slider. No, no but, but the reason why you're not worried. That's because I don't put any kind of like feeling around that. But I think if a barber was to give you that feeling, you would feel that way. Mm. And you know the reason why? True. Mm. Yeah. It's because the reason why you feel that cheating feeling is because you are probably more open, and it sounds weird, but guys are more open with their barber than they are with their actual girls. True. Mm. Yeah, yeah. True. So that means you've actually got an emotional connection <laughs> with <way>. your barber. <laughs> Right, right. I've told you things about my relationship. <laughs> yeah. Why are you not yeah. it's it's true. That's bad. Yeah. 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 I never right. thought about it that way. The way it's putting it now. Yeah. I, I we have deep conversations. Yeah. The things you talk about, the things you mm. say to your barber, right? You'll tell your barber, you know, actually, you know, you'll tell your barber, actually, my girl done this. And like, I ain't gonna lie. You, you might be trying to be masculine about you, but I ain't gonna lie. It hurt me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's right. He's you know, right. Yeah. And you don't say those things to, even to your friends. You don't. Yeah. Yeah. Your, no, barber, your barber would be like, hold on, what are you drinking? Let me get a juice. <laughs> you know my barber, yeah, he's sly. Now that you're saying these things, he knows how to get... You know me, I don't talk like that, so I'll just be there, da, da, da. And what he normally does, he starts off by talking about something that happened to him. Yeah. And that's how he gets me talking. <laughs> Because nah. he's just like, oh, imagine, how can my wife try to tell me this the other day and boom, boom, boom. Listen, don't ever have that, you know, if that was you. Nah. Then I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Then the next thing, Slider I'm not the only one in. talking. And he's just cutting hair, like, yeah, nah, yeah. Slider just goes talking. in bareback. He's just like, how things at home, Mops? I've got a mad question as well. It's not mad, let's say, but you feel like, because what we've seen in recent times, like, so back in the days, let's be real, where I was getting haircut, those people would be, Categorized as uncles, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's where we used to go. Mm -hmm. But I feel like right now, there's been a flood in like in people who are younger, 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 group, younger like, like, and they've taken the whole barbering thing to another level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you lot sometimes fear that the older you get means like you get kicked you out of the game? You get kicked out of the game basically. Because obviously, the young, the last guy that was trimming me, this was uh, DBF, yeah? He was probably like 20. Hmm. No, but so I, know, I, I know what Slider's done. Yeah, but so he's, he's recruited Bay Youngers to like, cover that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's <laughs> so a, he's not worried like about the that. older you get, you're getting pushed out there. Ask Nathan. Nathan's young. Yeah, he's still young. He's still young. You're trying to push these men out of the game. You're trying to push these men out of the game. Nathan's pushing me out. He's trying to push 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 me out. Not only that, it's like I'm trying to I'm trying to get the older the older guys. I'm trying to like aim at the people that are in guys that are in their like fifties, sixties yeah, yeah. who are like um who've got um hair loss 
and he won up. Oh, he's coming oh, for you. you get I'm saying? He's coming I, for you. He's, he's coming hey, for you. I'm I, 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 I dabbled in that lane, man. I, I did a course, I just said, you know, and maybe that's the, and that's the thing we're getting older. Yeah. You, know, you, you haven't even got the energy to even like, to try and get yeah, yeah. all these new things. You so start to stay in your lane. You push yourself out. Yeah, yeah. That's that the is kind of true though, you isn't push it? Yeah, true. Because you, you diss everything what younger people do. Mm. Right? Mm. Oh, that's just stupid. Oh, that's what you get older barbers say all the time, right? And then they become, the younger barbers become older guys and they start doing the same thing. When someone like starts saying, like, um, I don't know what the new thing will be in 10 years, but yeah, there'll be yeah, something else which they might be looking at like saying, that's just nah, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Now you boy it up. Let's yeah, talk yeah, about it later. Let's talk about it later. Obviously, I, I called in the magician in the beginning because he really does save hairlines. Um, yeah. Hey! I don't know. You There's should think of a name, you know, what you're doing. Boom. Me and you now, what are you saving, not we? We both need saving. We're going to ask the professionals after (laughs) whose hairline is worse. From what I see on your Insta, yeah, you basically like install men's hair units on men that have hair loss, yeah. So kind of akin to women getting weaves and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it not the same? Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, we need to establish the difference. Because I mean, like, with extensions, you're adding you're adding hair onto hair, right? But with with the units that I'm doing, I'm like I'm shaving off the top of their hair, like completely bald. It's like a hair replacement. So is that not worse? Um, what do you mean worse? You think about it. I mean, because if you're... Or, well, none of them worse. Oh, it's just... Oh, yeah, that, I'm, 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 I'm just saying the difference between the two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. no, because I, mean? I thought my thing was, I was trying to say like, is it the same? Because I thought the question you was trying to ask was like, you know how women, men is like, oh, women that wear weave, weave or extension, wherever it is, mm-hmm. is that... It could, is that the same version for a male? Is that a male okay. version? I mean, no, okay. is it lace fronts? That's, I think that's probably the equivalent. Yeah, is oh, it so be, it'll be equivalent yeah. of the lace front. Is it lace front? Yeah, where they glue. Yeah, where they glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, but it's still so like that's why it's different. But yeah, it's, 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 it's still gluing, though. But it's still gluing on. Yeah, it's yeah. still gluing. So no, that's, I think the equivalent. Okay, so it's equivalent of that. The lace front. Okay, lace front. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll still, still, still call it a hair replacement. Because you know what it is. It's like how how the whole thing is. Like I'm trying to really create that path to make sure more people want to get it done. Do you know mm. what I mean? And a lot of people are hesitant to get it done because of that branding. Because of that branding. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Obviously, like. There's a lot of mandem that come into the shop that get it done when the shop's busy or not. Do you know what I mean? People feel comfortable to get it now. Okay. And nice. I just want more and more people to feel comfortable, but it doesn't help because the mandem will be like, oh, what, my yeah, man's getting it done? What? And, you, and you're labeling it that, but, but you, you I got to like, masculate like it a bit you more. You ain't got nothing to worry about personally. It's just like everything else in mm. life. Once it takes a light, well, eventually it's going to be so normal. Just the same mm. way BBLs, all them things are normal. Now, when it started, we was all like, what the, the, now... If a, like people that are natural people are getting really killed now, like which is crazy. Mm. So I think it's all the same. Thing. How did you get into it then? What oh, bro, it's it? a funny story. Well, it's not funny, but like I've had one of my clients. I trim him every week or every other week, and he went to get a hair transplant. So he went to take out a hair transplant, and um, something happened. He had to go away for like a few years, right? Yeah. So he's gone away, and he hadn't done the aftercare treatment after he got the, oh. the transplant. Yeah, yeah. So he's gone away now and like the water was affecting his scalp, the showers and um, from oh. not doing the treatment, his scalp just kind of, um, it looked a bit mad, didn't it? So yeah. he hit me up and he was like, yo, Nathan, man, look, when I come out, you're the only guy that I know that can do this. Send me, start to send me videos, 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 videos. Oh. And he was like, bro, when I come out, you got to help me, bro. Wow. And I was just studying the videos. He said, I got a month studying the videos more. And then when he came out, I sorted it out for him. I done it for him, and he he yeah. liked it, mm. and he kept on coming back to get to get it done again. Mm. And then um, I went to Hair and Beauty, and there was a guy that um, I met over there that's also a barber. And then I was like, "Yo, do you want to try it out and we just film it or something like that?" Because mm. he was thinking that he was saying, "Yo, I heard there's some people are doing hair units and things like that in America. I want to try it one day." Mm. And these times I didn't really advertise it because I didn't feel like. I was doing it that much to even advertise it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I thought to myself, units, I don't know, I just cut hair. Do you know what I'm saying? Same thing, <laughs> yeah. doing all of that's mad. And then um, I done a video um, with him in a shop. It was his birthday. Saw the um, unit out from him. It was over the moon. Literally, like, it was even close to tears. I would wow. say a man's time. It was close to tears. Yeah. And then the that, like, the feeling that I got after I give someone a haircut, it's like they're happy, right? Mm. They're gassed. They're looking yeah, at me, yeah, they're yeah, gassed. Like, but I, I haven't... Know. 
given someone a haircut where they're close to tears. Mm. So it's a completely different feeling now. Mm-hmm. And it was the feeling mainly why I wanted, I, I wanted to do that. Wow. So, so after seeing that, I was just like, all right, cool. You know what? I'll just advertise the units to people in the shop and tell your friends, but I'm not going to pull it out online like Broadcast that. It. Do you know what I mean? And then over time, shout out um, Emma Truth. She was um, doing hair in a shop and she was literally pushing me like, Nathan, man, forget everything. Just do videos of doing hair units online, man. I'm telling you, blow up bare people who want to get it done. And then I just like, all right, cool. I'll do one more video. And then I got more demand and I just carried on doing videos. And KV, KV, um, the, um, the young barber in the shop doing his thing. He said, bro, just go on TikTok, man. Just start, ah. start doing these hair unit videos on TikTok. I'm telling you, it'll blow up. And mm. that's what happened. It started just blowing pure. up on TikTok. Yeah. Go on. No, your, your units are legit. No, I love yeah, how, I What is it, the aftercare? How how long does one unit yeah. last? Yeah, yeah so um, so I, like, there's a range. So I do the front hairline only. That's just just the front of your head. That's two to three weeks. They've got to wear a do rag every night. They That's can't get it wet. You're gonna need that. I don't yeah. need it. You need it, fam. <laughs> yeah. You know Pick what? My thing, yeah. bro. <laughs> the, I get, the most, most, the, most of the demand, the demand yeah. is from the um, from the hairline unit, the front hairline. Yeah. And a lot it. of the time, I'm just adding a little tiny bit of hair to the front. A lot of the it time, it reminds me of the edges that women get. The way but, it looks. Yeah, 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 we need yeah edges, because I've yeah, seen you put it on edges, and it's just like me, that. Bro. You know how women proper care about the baby hairs? Yeah. It looks ah. proper slick yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, real, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it's, edges, it's a different know? thing, but yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, you got edges. Edges. yeah. Guys, it's a different thing. What I'm trying to say is it's legit. Like yeah. proper looks. But you keep using all these women. Okay, forgive me, forgive me. That's what I'm saying. This is like my bad. My bad. I apologize. What one for the microfiber thing? Cause that thing there. But, but this is what this is what I'm saying. It's like the, the st- microfiber. A lot, a lot of the people that might be against units, they're, yeah. they're you still using hair dye and hair fibers, and like you're basically halfway now there. I use the dye yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't so I'm know saying, like you know it. what it is. Yeah, when I rather go for the like straight thing. Yeah. You use yeah. the one time. A microfiber? Yeah, no, them little things. Them. No, they're the spray, not. The spray. Uh, oh, beige, 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 beige. Yeah. Oh, they beige. Spray. Yeah, yeah. The beige. I didn't use my barber. Put beige. Put beige. beige. What do you mean? You could have said no. No, no, no. Come on. Beige. No, you know what? The, the front the barber was going to slide, cool. slide the end claim in your hair color. No, no, no. I got issue. I was making a claim. He has different barbers. That's not an issue. He didn't sign off on that one, bro. No, no, but I went to one barber and they they done it to me. Yeah, it was nice shape up, but the thing with that, you gotta they gotta bring down the top bit, down it's a little bit. To, about to spray. Or yeah, the microfiber. Or the spray. And they spray. They, they, it's a spray, though, isn't it? They're different ones. Yeah, yeah, the the black ones part, yeah okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. I said I don't even do it no more. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I, just, yeah. I feel like it's only good. The reason why I really liked it when he did it one time, I was like, oh, actually, because I took a picture. I went out and I took it, and actually, it looks sick. If it's a day to day, it's long. But you've got a hairline. That's why I never get guys that got a hairline, but they still do it. It don't make no sense. No, it just looks sharper. But me, I would do it. He would do. He would put it on my hair because every time I get a haircut, I go home and get have a shower, wash my hair. So he would do that, and I'll go wash it straight out. There's no point. But yeah, you were saying so you got the two to three week just for the yeah 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 yeah. So that's for the um, front headline. Then you've got the um, the two to three week for the whole top, but that's like hair strands. That's like the strands of hair. And then you've got the three to four month, which is the the actual unit that you have to order. Are you allowed to tell us price ranges? Um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the the um, for the front headline, that's two uh, two fifty for the front headline. Fifty what? Two hundred fifty. 250. 250. 250. No, 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 two bills, not two hundred. So two hundred for the front hairline, yeah. and for the top is um two eighty. Okay, and then for the three to four month one is six six fifty now. So that's your nice. trims are only made yeah. for trappers. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you you yeah. see, let me tell you something again. Yeah. You see, you've not, you've not <laughs> seen, you, you've not. Your confidence is not been messed with. Before. Yeah, but when it is, yeah, you will have, have plan. You yeah. even you spend free on it. Do you you stay there. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> that's that. 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 <laughs> Yeah, bro. Because bro, like if I, if I got a good relationship with my client, I just say, bro, you can just pay me, pay me like later, or because yeah, yeah, I know that they're gonna always come in, like, come back. All of my unit clients, they all come back. Oh yeah, I walked here, I saw him in a car. I was like, I didn't get myself a car. He was chilling in the walk in the car. I just wait out here. <laughs> is that, is that so this no. is a dumb question, yeah. But every time I see your videos, I'm thinking, oh, can't they just buy super glue 
and it just stays on forever. Nah, nah, you're not, you're not, yeah. already, what's the need to keep? I know because it's just the, the different glues are for healthy for your scalp, innit? Oh. So like super glue, that would just destroy your scalp. That's what I'm about That's to say. The head's growing back as well. But what if they're both yeah. though? No, and they can't grow hair. No, no, it's still it, gross. Both of them has got hair growing, it's just very thin. Okay. So it, it cuts it off, so that hair's still growing back. Okay, so that's why you need to do the re-up. Or some yeah. people got loads of hair here, it's just here they haven't got hair. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and do they get to choose what country the hair comes from? Or is it huh? standard? You know how like Brazilian hair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it. See, like, they said it. They said it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is there yeah. one type of hair? Because we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, no, you know what I'll do? Yeah, if, my, yeah. if my client wants a specific um, hair type from somewhere, a specific country, I'll get it. I'll get it for oh, them. Get it? Okay, but yeah. I'll charge them to get it. And I have to order it. It'll take a while. So, what's your Yeah, what's your house hair? What do you mean? Like oh, the house wine? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, the hair is um, extra virgin still. Extra virgin. That, would it, like, for example, I'm not even mocking, but would it like suit the texture? His hair? Yeah, like the texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, oh, bro. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, your yeah. one is universal. Like it work. It can work with most. Yeah, people. yeah. Because like when you order the hair, you um order the curl pattern. You gotta tell them what curl pattern you want. So oh, obviously, okay. like the hair it's that a curl pattern. Yeah, yeah. I'm but but this is technical. But I have to go to LA to learn this, bro. Like okay. I, so everyone's, everyone's, everyone's like got like different no, curl, curl pattern. pattern. Yeah, yeah. Someone yeah, yeah, said yeah. I'm four C. I'm four C. Four B. Is that is that what you mean? Four C. What is it? Four C. Yeah. What does that mean? Barely any curls. No, 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 no. Here's the misconception. Right. Afro hair is curly hair. Mm. Ah. If uh, let's say the looser your hair is just a looser curl. Mm. Right, 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 but when right, people right. are you know using the old term for they say oh your hair is picky, you just got very curly hair. Yeah. It's a ah. tight curl. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's a good thing. Yeah. It's, yeah. Tight, <laughs> <laughs> so only, so it's just a tighter curl. So you just slowly you're just doing that. And yeah. you see the looser the curl, but it's a very tight curl. Right. So when people are like, oh, picky hair, no, you're just that curly. Makes sense. Hair. That's, that's why, why this guy's very stubborn. As, as to why people do things like when they were relaxing their hair and they do put it in for, let's say, five minutes, it's like, how do they get their hair curly? Because they just loosened up their curl. Oh. <laughs> So that's what okay. it's like. Okay. Thank you for this backdrop. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> it wasn't a bad thing after all. <laughs> got curly hair. So what if you now get the 360 waves? What the, what, the, what does it become? Oh. The curl pattern then? After the waves, yeah. So you've like loosened up the waves. You've okay, loosened, so then yeah, you go up, up that alphabet. Up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to understand where everything lays. Okay, no. Bro, I love it. Yeah, I just want to find new ways to lie to women, fam. Why <laughs> that's not, a, that's why what it's thinking about. Yeah, <laughs> but when you're, when you're ordering hair, there's so many different options, though. Yeah. Wow. So many, man. So they many. They see that full one. Can they uh, get that wet? Can they swim with that one? The full hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, one, you can't can. get it wet, bro. You can swim in it if you want, but it, okay. it won't be guaranteed to last as long, though. Okay. So you you might change change it from a two to three month unit mm. to like a one month and a half, bro. What would they put okay. a swimming cap on? Depend. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you put a swimming cap, on, oh, would right. the of, I guess they have to be careful to make sure they stretch it, it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they don't yeah. pull it. Yeah, I mean that should be alright. Okay, yeah. that should be cool. Yes, yeah, wear a swimming cap. That should be cool because yeah, you, you know what it's like. It's like it's like your like your hair right now, yeah, yeah? braids, yeah? yeah. If you go into a swimming pool right now, true, true, it's mad. If you go into a shower, put a shower on it right now, everything's gonna come out. You're gonna have to get it redone, right? So if you don't interfere with it. How long would it last for? Yeah. Quite a long time, yeah. See what I'm saying? The no, same same point. concept with the units. Have no, you thought about moving into beards? Because some of us are struggling. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. I can do I, I can do the beards, but I don't feel like to, to advertise it. I don't think the demand would be would, would, Bro, we should do a little we Only reason little why is because like these two I looked into it. it because um you can wear you can use um is it was it was it the eyelash glue or something like that? You can okay. use the eyelash glue for your beard. Mm. Bro, I'm done but trying you, it. When you wash your face and it's all mad. <laughs> so man, you wash your face. <laughs> you didn't think about that, did you? We try it. You could just do it for like a, a night out. Use a face towel, like a night out, and just you- pack. Yeah, you can use like those uh, special wipes people. So <laughs> I know, I know. Wash your face. I may pick, take you up on no, this one. No, nah, but I think it'll be good content. Yeah, I'm but there. yeah, but I'm I'll, intrigued I'll, to I'll, see how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. We'll do it. Same as you do. Now four bars. No, no, no. You can keep it. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. I'll, I'll, I'll take you off. No, I'll, I'll take you off. Oh, God. This guy, you're a serious <laughs> cheater. Uh, you're a serious cheater. Your mom is everywhere, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a beast. No, no, no. He probably don't even want to cut me. He's East North West South. He's only doing my beard, bro. Don't worry. He's only doing my beard. You know you're number one. You're the first one. Until he brings tears to my eyes. I know it. I know it. 
Can you do it? Name it. You may be quiet, so go ahead. That's hard. I like that. I'll be at that round of bubble. You know what? On a, on a serious note, though, I think it's a really good thing that. No, you know I mean, it. there's something for men. This guy's someone that's giving you the hope for your man. No, 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 no and it's I think about it a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I think, would I go turkey? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't think I can do the turkey. So but I think, I think so you can tell I'm by saying there's an alternative. Though. There's an alternative. Don't you think you can tell by saying age if you're gonna lose your hair? No, is that, yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah, another question. Everyone, is that true though? Everybody is losing their hair slowly. Just about yeah, yeah everybody is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when people like, you know, sometimes people my own these edges are going. Sometimes people say to me they're like forty something, and they're like. I don't know what happened. It must have been that haircut I got back in the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, brother, man, listen, you're just, it's just naturally It's like, you're right. It's like, yeah, but oh, you know, when I was younger, I got this line in my hand. I got this line in my hair. It's because no, it. it's it's we can't true. come to terms with it. It's like, you, you, have, need, you, you need, need something. Yeah, you need yeah. something. It's a mad no, thing, bro. I, I love the conversation. We're almost coming to the end, and I really want to touch on obviously, you both own your barbershops, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, this is so good as like Very young dope. black men. Like doing things legit. I just wanted to know, like, if you could run us quickly, like, through how did you get the idea? Number one, number two, the funding was it easy as a black guy getting funding? Uh, yeah, how did you set up the shop, basically? All right, cool. Yeah. Um. So, literally, when I finished uni, um, I spent that year. I done a bit of acting and little other things and that. But when I when I was completely sure what I wanted to do, I sat myself down. I was I was um, listening to Think and Grow Rich. Oh, that. Hill, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And there was a um, a chapter on leverage. Mm, and the oh. chapter was basically like if you want a business and um, you want to set up something up, it's either you go down private investors, you either go to a bank, or you either use your, use your the piece that account. you bought. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? I never did want to go to the bank because I didn't like the whole loan thing. Obviously, I was 22, bro. I'm thinking getting a mad loan right now. But then I thought to myself, getting a big loan right now would be better while I'm young. Yeah. Because right. if it does go wrong, time. I've got enough time to come back. True. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I just, um, I built up um, a clientele. Up. No, no, no. The first step that was in Think and Grow Rich, they said, find an accountant. That's the first yeah. step, get an accountant. Okay. Got my accountant, accounts and legal up in Camden. I think they're called something else now. Found my accountant and um, I said, look, Mike, man, all I want to know is just how to open up my business and mm. get a loan because that's what I want to do. And he said, all right, cool. I don't know if you felt like the fire in my eyes at that that moment, but he was just like, all right, cool, I'm going to help you. So he helped me um, go through different lenders, different investors, and um, come up with my um, business plan. And then it ended with me going to, um, to Nat West. Wow. So I hey. went, went to Nat West, had a business plan, had my clientele, because I, I I've always been taking appointments from mm. young. Mm. So I always had like a client database. Wow. So, Love that. Yeah, wow. yeah. So I think yeah. at the time I went there, my That's client crazy. database was like 600 now. Like 600, 600 clients. Or, yeah, wow. 700 clients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus now it's like three Christ. and a half, but, but it's not close to size. Bro. Lie. <laughs> size of the next two. Lie. Yeah. Lie. You get Come me? On. But obviously I went there, I showed my clientele base, showed how much I was taking in from my clients. And um, I submitted it to to the bank, and um, they accepted. They accepted the, the loan. I had to go in there to do a last credit check, yeah. bank reference. Went through all of the steps, and a guy literally wanted to. He said, "Look, man, I don't know if you want to um, um, pr- um, frame this um, a- acceptance, what acceptance, they what yeah, printed yeah, yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. because people that are in there like thirties don't even get, get accepted, accepted for this yeah. loan." Yeah, yeah. And I and I and I'll bring that down to like my mum from young, always telling me to pay everything on time, mm. make sure that I ain't got, like, my, my credit's always good. good. So yeah. I made sure, like, you know, even you got some friends that are telling you, oh, I remember some of my friends had, like, a um, direct debit for a cinema. Mm. And they were like, oh, Nathan, yeah, you got the direct, just don't pay it, man. Just don't pay it. And just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it just, come back to buy yeah, you, yeah, just yeah. cancel it from the bank and yeah, just don't, yeah. don't, don't pay <laughs> it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then just those little yeah. things, because I've always been savvy and I've always been on point and mm. tried my best not to do an AC. When mm. everyone is doing, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. so that would I wouldn't have been able to do it then yeah. if I if I done the AC. So yeah, man, I went to the bank, got the loan, wow. and I spent all my bread. Literally, I had a nice watch as well. Sold my watch, spent all the money. Spent that 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 loan that I got from the bank that just covered the um, the shop to get to get done up. Yeah. yeah, that just covered the shop to get done up. So after that, I ran out of bread. How do you run it? 
Basically, that was what was coming. Yeah, so, so, so I said to myself, if I go into the shop, I need to be making enough money to keep it running if I'm the only barber in, exactly. in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So when I first, when I first, um, well, I was, the shop was getting built while I was in, I'm renting out a chair in another place. And I was just telling the barbers across the road, the barber I was working with, the hairdressers around me, look, I'm opening up a shop. And I remember I said to them, yeah, guess what? I got AC. <laughs> and you know what is it for, for, for barbers Like working in a shop Without AC In the summertime Is it's a mad It's yeah. mad Do you know what I'm saying Because yeah. there's nothing worse Than your client sweating And you can't even shape up yeah, their hair yeah, yeah. Because it sweats everywhere So I just said Yeah I got AC And then from then I felt like Everyone I told They kind of They felt safe mm. With me like that I would always try To do my best To make sure everyone Everyone's Eats good. you know what I'm saying mm. So um, Yeah man I moved there And I, um, when I when I first um, Moved into to my premises It was only um, me and um, Ev and Nathaniel. So Ev worked in a um, Nathaniel worked in a shop across the road, and um, Ev worked in the, um, the same shop next to me. Mm. Um, that's um, Styler Room, Ev Style, Evie Styler, and um, and another hairdresser, Nicole. She was also working in the shop as well, and she wow. was doing hairdressing. So I just moved over there. Ev and Nathaniel pulled up, and then Nicole hit me saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna pull up as well." Then she pulled up. The other hairdresser, um, Kat, big up yourself. She, um, she was like across the road. She lived across the road. So yeah. when uh, when everyone used to come to the shop to link up, it's like we like just see home, everyone, we just see yeah. everyone and be like, "Oh yeah, well you you your hairdresser, yeah. Why don't you pull up to the shop?" Like, All right, cool. And then before I knew it, it just grew and grew. So your shop must be big then. I'm getting, yeah, it must be big. Well, isn't it? How many seats you got? Um, so all together, there's um, there's seven. Wow, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Big. what's the shop called? Um, Smith's Hair Studio. Smith's but we've got another branch in um, High Wickham as well. High Wickham's got the same amount. So you've got, got two branches now? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. But, but, yeah, but the store in High Wickham, that's like the first franchise. So Ricky, he was working with us for about a year, mm. year and a bit, and he had to leave the area and go up to High Wickham. That's where he was established, an established yeah. barber already. And he said, look, if I go to High Wickham, I want to open up Let me a uh, branch. Okay. And I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm down. I hope you yeah, set it up, hard. you know what I mean? So... No, yeah, well that's, that's, that's I wave, love this story. Man. That's how it happened. In this Barber Olympics, are you? It's Barber. The, the king. <laughs> <laughs> the main, the main yeah. man. I'm joking. No, but yeah, but <laughs> when, when, when the shop first opened, I actually went to, um, to DNLs, you know? Yeah. I don't know if you remember, I remember I went to DNLs because as, as soon as the shop opened, I just, I, I wanted to look around and see what the other barber shop <laughs> yeah, was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to check out the yeah, competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember I was sitting there because um, Nathaniel and Nathaniel Cole, he was like, yeah, go DNLs, go DNLs. And I clocked, he said, go to um, go to Slider. Mm. But I didn't hear him say, go to Slider. So mm. I've gone to DNOs, I've gone to someone else. And I've come back and I was like, yeah, nah, yeah, DNOs, they don't like do their things though. Yeah. I went to, I know it was and I told him what Bob I went to. He's like, oh, no, you went yeah. to the wrong bar, yeah. man. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's... Man, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, how did you start your bar? How did you get funding, all of that? Mine was, see, mine was a little bit different because when I opened up my shop, just before I opened up the shop, I bought the flat I'm living in now. Mm. And it was basically, I was a different place in life. Married, I had one child at the time. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to open up this business. But we all are confident that our businesses are going to work. Work, yeah. But it doesn't always happen that way. No. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, you know what? Let me focus on making sure that we've got a family home. Mm. So that no matter what happens, if anything goes wrong. There's a home. Because I'm living, we're living in a one bedroom flat right now. My and our son was sharing the room with us. Mm. We knew we were gonna have more children as well. Mm. So I was like, let's let me get that first, just so that um it doesn't affect my family life, doesn't affect my home life. You know, the, imagine mm. the business fails and then we have another child or third child and we're all sharing the one bedroom mm. flat. Mm. You know? Um so I said, okay, let's let me do that. So I did that first. But I did that in a time where I didn't actually have the money. <laughs> you right. know, I remember it, it, I do very um, risky things. I know exactly what you're talking about. You know, so like I was looking at this house, right? So I didn't even, I didn't have the money yet, right? But I just started looking at places. And I saw this place, which was like four or 500 meters from where we lived. Wow. And, it was, and it was a free bedroom. And I was like, oh, let me just go check it out, right? Mm. So I went and checked it out. I was like, right, this is like, it's the same location. Only one bus up away from where I live now. Mm. Because, you know, it's a free bedroom. And I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I want to get this right But I haven't got any money for it (laughs) (laughs) Manifest So I'm talking to the lady And she's like Yeah I'm like yeah And I know know the area All that spill And I'm like You know what actually I want this right And she's like Okay cool you know Put in an offer And I put in an offer right And she said No it's going to be higher Then she said Look the the person said If you offer this uh, You can have it so then I'm like, okay, yeah, I offered it to the person. <laughs> he said, I have the money. <laughs> but I haven't got the money. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got the money. 
I, I just like, you know yeah. what? But I, I'll make it happen. So then I was like, okay, cool. I have got three months because the offer's gone in. I got three yeah, months to find a deposit. Months. But then the issue was when I was trying to find a deposit, the money, and I was trying to do the mortgage for it, they said to me at the time, I couldn't get a residential for whatever reason, right? So then I also had to, had to get it on a buy to let. Mm. Your means, first property? No, well, I, I already had a property. Oh, you already had a property. Okay, right, cool. It was, it was, that was your, your one bedroom, isn't it? You it was one bedroom. One. Yeah, yeah. So this but then also, a... I my name was on my brother's flats because he, oh, he was goodness. to up his earnings yeah. to get the place he was living in. Yeah. Oh. So now they saw it because that was the issue at the time. They said you got two different residential properties. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, mm, you can't. I, said, I was like, oh yeah, but my brother lives in there and he covers the whole no, no, mortgage. I said, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, your yeah, responsibility yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I was like, ah, oh, okay, yeah, cool. So I need wrong. to get, they're like, you can't, you can't get another residential so right now. deposit, no. So then they're like, okay, I said, okay, cool. What about we do? Buy to let. Cool, but you're going to put down 25%. 25, mm. yeah. So I'm like, right, I got to find even more money now <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, get this, to, to get this property. But the thing is, it was going to be a, I said, it's cool. I don't need it yet anyway. Because I said, I'm happy with the one bedroom. So when we, yeah, <laughs> yeah. whenever we get another child, then we can move into there, that right? bridge there. So I said, cool. I had to get, so I had to find the money, right? I had three months for that to find. I'll give you the real figures, actually. It was, it was 150,000 pounds. You had to find? Yeah, because it was Jesus um, 25% deposit. Mm. And then I had to pay 25,000 pounds to oh, stamp, duty. stamp duty. Yeah. Yeah. Oof, oof. And I was like, oh, wow. My trust. <laughs> So I was just like, cool. And I remember Oof. like people come saying to me, so what are you going to do? I said, I'm just searching for the money. <laughs> you know, I just live shit in there. The thing is, knowing myself right, when I'm under pressure, I seem to work well. Mm. So there's something about it that I like because, mm. you know, it just seemed to work well. So, you know, I did that right. And then suddenly this property I've been looking for for the last two years came available just after I bought the property, oh. right? Because I found the money. And I was like, oh, rare. I've maxed out all my credit. <laughs> yeah. I've yeah. maxed out all my money. I... <laughs> so then I had to go start. This place, they said, you know, it was £30,000, they said, you know, to buy the lease off them. Mm. You know, I said, okay, cool. I said, no problem, I'll do that. Then they came back about a month later and they said, actually, you know what? We looked around the area and realised, oh, we're undercutting ourselves, £60,000. <laughs> Doubled it. Yeah, actually, it was actually £28,000 buying it off them. They said, no, £60,000. I said, I said, we had an agreement. <laughs> They're like, yeah, but we looked around the area and yeah, we just That's think it's crazy. worth more. So yeah, £60,000, I was like... Okay, okay, oh, you know. You yeah, agree. <laughs> do, do. do you know why? Because I'd been searching for that place for two years. Wow, yeah. So I had looked all around and I had these um, specs of what I wanted. What you wanted, and it, that was the mm. one. So I was like, you know, I had to have parking outside, mm. had to be near a train station, had to have a number of buses that went to different locations within London. So it wasn't just like, so it was like, you know. It's a lot of planning you know, that went into it, yeah. There was so much, it had to be, um, it had to be on a side street for me. Mm. I didn't want it ever to be on a main street. Okay. Mm. To, because um, a, a main street for me was kind of like, no offense, I don't actually know where yours is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, on a side yeah. street, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, 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 and you start offending someone else. Like, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It's two different, two yeah, different yeah. types of things. But the issue I had with main street was it didn't feel homey. Mm. On the main street, it felt like, you know, come and go. Like, you Everyone. know, just, just boom, boom, boom. fast traffic in and out, in and out, in and out. Mm. So I said, side street was always better because it kind of felt like people could Crazy. chill outside and talk mm. yeah, yeah, and not yeah, feel yeah. like, mm. right, why, why is everyone? Why is it so, so busy? So mm. I had all these specs of things which I had to have. So it took me two years to find it. So when I found mm. it, I was like, even though I said, I have to take it. So I said yes mm. to it, you know, that I, you know, I just had to start, I, I borrowed money off about, and this was what was good about having good credit, what I called social credit. For, yeah, mm, yeah. Because yeah. when my actual credit, you know, was maxed out, maxed you know, with out, the banks. It went social credit. It had to be my social credit. <laughs> yeah. Because over the years, you know, I've been trustworthy in money. That's why I even said if my wife bought me money and I said I was going to pay it back. Yeah. I would. I've always paid back everyone. I owe no one money. Mm. I pay back no matter a pound, whatever. I pay back everything, right? So mm. at this point, my social credit kicked in. Because <laughs> I had to, I think I bought money off about 15 different people. Jesus Christ. This person bought me, like, you know, this person bought me like ten thousand pounds. That person bought me twenty thousand pounds. That person bought me fifty. Oh. That person bought me seventy. This person Jesus bought me Christ. because the shop altogether it cost obviously sixty thousand pounds to buy the lease. Yeah, and then because the shop was like horrible. I mean, it was this is no exaggeration. It was rat infested. Ooh. I want to mean rat infested. I mean no, literally. I mean, when I went to view it, we uh, see a rat run past, like it was rat infested, right? And how long was the lease? This is the other stupid thing which I done, which I'll tell you in a minute. Oh right, cool, cool. <laughs> it was, cool no, actually, it was a stupid, risky thing that I done. Okay. Yeah. Because the people, you know, who I bought the lease off, they only had a year left on the lease. Oh. But they said, oh, but, you know, the owner of the lease has guaranteed us. Extended. He will extend us oh. to give us a whole new lease, right? Yeah. So I'm like, this is risky for me to buy this <laughs> lease, right? Because I'm going off his word, but I thought the location for me was so perfect. Perfect. I took the risk. That's all it was for you. you. Know? Yeah. So when we opened up the shop, I didn't get the lease put into my name till a year later. Mm. So I... Bought the lease for sixty thousand pounds. I spent a hundred thousand pounds 
on fixing up the place because literally the back roof was like, they had a hole in the back roof, right? But they never fixed it. So when it was raining, the whole roof just deteriorated. You know, so then it was just so much things wrong with the oh. shop, right? <laughs> and then also things like the builders I used initially bumped me 70,000 pounds, didn't finish the job. I had to go find new builders. They, you know, they didn't finish the job properly. Had to find new builders. Jeez, you've been so it was like loads of things. I know this time I didn't have any money. So all I was doing was borrowing more and more money, more and more money, more and more money. You know, I sold the flat. I had to sell the flat, you know, because of this. You know, um, wow. I had to sell the flat. The first one. The first one, you know, to clear debts. And that even, the funny thing is, I sold the flat and I had this money and within a day it was gone. Because I was just selling <laughs> debts. <laughs> 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 within, within a day it was, it was gone. Like I saw the money in my car, I was like, it's a day later. I was like, okay, I'm not even going to get comfortable with it. Pay everything you need to pay Before straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, then money was gone. It's almost like it just didn't exist, right? Because I still had debts. And so I, I showed my house, I saw, cleared some debts, I still had debts. It just kind of like reduced them a little bit to make mm. it more manageable, right? I just was on a search, you know? So this is how I found the money just through borrowing money from people. Mm. And that's how I did it. But because I felt like I had a good business plan in a sense and like you you know I was like you know I've got a mailing list right of mm. people which are signed up from booking haircuts with me mm. so I was like you know and also in the shop I was working in you know I trained up barbers I'd given like people bar um, customers as well so mm. I was in a place where I was like I'm fully booked right but that guy's chair is 90% booked and I and those 90% of customers came from me mm. then his chair is half booked and that came from me from and his chair is like quarter to half booked mm. and that came from me mm. and I'm still fully booked so I was like okay mm. I have the ability to fill other people's chairs so I thought mm. I know that I can open up my own shop mm. I'd also trained up barbers so I said mm. even if I don't find any barbers I can always train up barbers because I've done it before yeah. Yeah. and also in, in my list which only I started maybe in the last I can't remember two three years of getting people's emails and things like that I had way over a thousand people mm. and that was from people I'd cut in the last two three years so I was mm. like okay this is this is this is this is this isn't even all the people I'd cut even in the last five, 10 years, right? Mm -hmm. But in the last couple of years- When you just decided to start doing it. Yeah, you know, and the people who decided to sign up to it yeah. as well. So I've got way over a thousand people here as well, right? So I had all these little metrics where I was like, actually, I'm in a position where I can open up my shop and I feel like it'll work out because of all these different things there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went into doing it. And when I opened it up, I have to go in there and I was just, just working, every, yeah. I was working on myself, right? Yeah, the, builders, right. the builders were over there doing some work, right? They did. I just, and just, oh. yeah, just had to make it happen. You're making me feel bad for cheating on you now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 needed that. Bro. And I was there over cheating. I feel with another like, barber, but listen, I'm inspired I feel, though. Yeah, Very literally, inspired. because I felt like I had the worst year last year. Very and I swear to you, you made my year sound like a breeze. Nah, nah, nah. What you had to And that's go, the thing man. about him. When he is going through these things, like, I hear you talking about it, yeah. and, but he, he keeps a smile. With a smile. Like, like, it yeah. like it doesn't look like it gets to you. Because the amount of money you had to borrow, that would be stressing me out. Yeah, because there were times I remember waking up and this happened a couple of times where I was like, okay, I owe this person £20,000. So I was like, okay, I need to find £20,000 today to pay them. Because I'm so strict on, I need to make my deadlines. Mm. I need to pay on time. So even like a friend of mine, I borrowed money off him. I borrowed £10,000. Because my whole deal with people was always like, I'll pay you back. Whatever you give me, I'll pay you back 10% off. 10, yeah, around 10% back, right? So this guy... On top of that. Yeah. So, yeah. so everyone, I pay back. I pay back, you know. About 10%. I'll, I'll give you 10% on top. So he's, he borrowed so money. Yeah. Then what was happening was that I was borrowing money from people for like short-term loans. So these were all short-term loans from my mm. friends. They're like, 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 you know, a month, two months, right? Yeah. While I was trying to find finance from, let's say, like a bank or yeah. from that loan shark company yeah. or whatever it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be paying interest to them, but then I'll pay interest on top. Top of the, ah. Oh. <laughs> so like, I remember I bought, I think it was 10... Thousand pounds off him. I said, "Cool, you know, I'll pay you back eleven thousand pounds in it was four or five weeks." Mm. And it came to the Monday, I had to pay him, and I was like, oh, "I haven't got his money." So I remember I messaged him. I said, "Look, I'm sorry, I haven't got your money right, but I'm definitely gonna have it by Monday, and I'll pay you interest on top of it." So I gave it to him Wednesday, which is basically it was only about I don't know like thirty hours late, mm. and I gave him an extra two hundred pounds or two two to three hundred pounds on top of it, right? Because my thing was I'm late, mm. right? So I'm just letting you know that keep my credit intact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because so I've, I've come late. You I've know told it's you I'm late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, I'm only coming, like, it was Monday. I keep paid you on Wednesday mm. and I've paid you extra as well. So yeah. don't say anything about me or tell anybody. <laughs> Chat you know, my name. Mark, yeah. Mark, yeah. Mark, 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 Mark is that, right? Mm. Yeah. So yeah, this is what I was just doing. But the whole time, I remember waking up and I had to find 20,000 pounds. You just, you become resourceful. I'm like, I'm, I'm leaving home. I might take my son to school, whatever it is. I'm going to work and I'm just on my phone. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. Quick loans, you know, yeah. loans and hours. You know, <laughs> like, loans and bank accounts straight away. You don't need all these different searches. I start typing in, right, you know. And then things would happen and suddenly it's like, cool, I got that person there, 20,000 pounds money of the day. Okay, cool. I've got a week or two weeks to find this. And just you just, you just carry on. Because I've always thought to myself, you know what? Just put your energy into the things you have control over. Oh, well. 
So I've, mm-hmm. I've always found that if you start stressing about the problems, you're taking energy away from the solution. Solution. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're stressing about, ah, oh, this has gone wrong, that's gone wrong, ah, oh, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. And all that energy could be spent actually thinking about the solution. Mm-hmm. You know, so right now I'm in a situation like this right now. Because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> We're here wasting your time. <laughs> your podcast. But it's for different reasons. It's different yeah, reasons. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a more luxury reasons. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we bought um, a new place yeah. and we're moving into it and it's a house and we're, we've got it, we're getting it really fully refurbished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But there's loads of things we're just doing to it which is just all luxury. That's why it's not like feels so yeah, it's not like, yeah, yeah. It's all luxury, you know, we're choosing mm. to do all these things there. Mm. You know, but I don't know when this podcast is coming out and hopefully the builder doesn't see this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but cause I meet all these payments, right? And he must think I'm just loaded but he doesn't realise every two weeks, right? <laughs> You're searching loads of 20 yeah, right? Loaded. <laughs> every two weeks, right? I'm like, I'm fine, oh fine but I pay God. it on time, right? But he must just think, yeah. And he said he's, he's like, rich. yeah, he's a rich guy. He's a rich guy. He makes his payments. He's oh, like, we don't realize every two weeks. <laughs> I go, wake up, I'm like, damn, I think he's got 10 grand today. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, the payments are a lot, then more than that. But you will make it, Jesus' wow. name. You will make it. You know, yeah, but you know, but, but yeah. I feel like because you've been through it before at the time when it's the worst, like now it's almost like once you survive something like that, you can do it again. It's like you're you built for it. Yeah. You can, it don't yeah. phase you no more, really. I think I look forward to it to some degree. To be honest, so I'm saying, you get some sort of adrenaline kick. Yeah, adrenaline kick. I'm I'm joking. Joking. I'm I'm joking. Joking. Exactly the idea of being able to, the idea of waking up and saying I need to find twenty thousand pounds today, it's like a challenge. It's a challenge <laughs> of like, can I, can I make can it? I it really doesn't feel do good, right? <laughs> it's the, but it's a once challenge. Once it's done, once wow. it's done, you're like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, that sounds like a BMF episode. Let's get all the barbers in London. I be bros. We could talk for ages, but unfortunately, we actually have have come to the end, man. Um, I appreciate all the the gems you give. I just wanted you to give like one sentence, like for the man them out there that are trying to start their own business, barber shop. Like, what advice? Whatever type of business. Um, All right, cool. I feel like um, the game is like a spear, right? And it's on your neck. And how this game is, it's like, you've got to put all of your energy into getting where you need to get to. You've got to sacrifice. You've got to persevere. You've got to be resilient. You've got to be resourceful. So just imagine that 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 arrow getting pushed into your neck. You've got to be so strong that your neck actually breaks that arrow. Jeez. Do you know what I mean? That's so it's just one. like, yeah, I once you get like in warrior, the game, Warrior, warrior mindset. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, but that, that's, 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 that's how you have to be, that's how you have to be though. I'm feeling my neck. I'm feeling it. It's like, the arrow coming. the arrow coming. You have to fool your neck. Yeah, that's it. Because with this business thing, once you run into that battlefield, there's no going back. You know what I'm saying? You got to push straight through. There's no going back. You got a word for the brothers that are trying to... Who don't cut with me because they want consultations. So they've got longer services, right? Oh. And they're like, you know what? I just, I just want to. I got this idea, right? That's crazy, <laughs> That's right? Am I the same thing I see with people, especially younger people? Is they just want to start a business? So my thing to people would be, whatever you're going into, study that industry first and work mm. in that industry first, because mm. one, you don't know what you're going into. So if you work in the industry, you have more of an idea of it. Mm. And it's free learning to some degree, especially if you're shadowing someone and you're working for someone. So don't see it as, well, I'm, I'm going to go to someone's business and just sweep up the floors. Yes, because they're paying you to learn about the thing that you want to get you into. Do, yeah. And you might even figure out, to just find out to yourself, actually, I don't even want to do this. It's like all the courses I've done, you know, being, it's like, I don't want to be a personal trainer. I don't need mm. do social work. But imagine saying, it. actually, I'm going to open up my own social work firm. Without because, trying it. Without, yeah. without yeah. going in that yeah. industry yeah. first. Yeah. You know, you worked in the industry, you were working as a barber from you 15 be years old. Mm-hmm. You know, I worked in another person's shop for 16 years. You were working for about eight years, nine years before you opened up your own shop. So you knew the industry you were going into. Yeah, but yeah, people right. look at other, other people and say, yeah, I want to do that straight away. It's like, no. Learn the craft. Learn the craft and take yeah. it seriously. Study in that industry. Shadow in that industry. You know, if you have the privilege that someone's willing to pay you to work in that industry, then see it as a privilege. You know, do whatever. Run and get coffees, this and that. Just make sure you're asking the right Questions, you know, so yeah, so st- get in that industry first, you know, work in that industry and learn about in- that industry before you jump into spending your money to become a boss. A boss, mm. yeah. Yeah. I love As that. You can so. tell, yeah, and easy to make the money. I love that. <laughs> nah, listen, we've got two successful black men here that have made it legit. Do you know what I mean? No handouts. Well, social credit. But. <laughs> <laughs> All the handouts. Social credit. No, 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 no,
He's got his own website. The first. Are you like his PA? He can talk for himself. <laughs> no. He can speak that way. It's all right. Nathan Five Star. How can they find your shop? Yeah. Your so shop? Um, Nathan Five Star Instagram. So Smith's Hair Studio website. Um, the, the studio SHS. That's for the High Wilcom branch. If you're up on that 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 side of town. Yeah, man. Dumb, I'm a TikTok man. Nathan Five Star. Yeah. yeah go, man, I'm all saying TikTok now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to get into Yeah, that, follow man. Nathan Five Star and everything. We'll put your stuff in the bio. Yeah. Yeah. One, One last thing I just want to say. I love the thing that um, Slider, you've been th- I've been watching some of your, you know, the tip. Yeah, yeah. I got to. I, I, I've, I've been, been watching that as well, you know. <laughs> you might see me like in a couple of years. I just want to throw that out there. I just want to throw that out there. You want to see what he's talking about? Go check out Slider's Insta. But yeah, please continue supporting. Appreciate all you guys. Till next time, peace. peace. Yes, it's your boy DT, and this is the IMO podcast. We are here live at the London Podcast Studio. I use code IMO20 to get 20% off. Peace. Shout out Amaka, Andrea, and Obi. They said he's working, so we balling like Obi.